You know, coronavirus is not the only danger that's threatening some parts of this nation. On this Easter Sunday, there's flooding, hail, and tornadoes, though they've been hammering Americans in the southeast and southwest. Take a look. You can see the hail falling hard. That happens to be outside San, An uh, San Angelo, Texas. Christina Coleman is live in Los Angeles with the uh, very latest on this. You know, Christina, on top of the virus, you got the uh, disturbing, troubling weather. That's right, Eric. It's a lot to deal with. A likely tornado has hit northern Louisiana in the city of Monroe. City officials there tweeting that there's been damage in multiple locations, including at one of the office buildings at the Monroe Regional Airport complex. The mayor and airport director just announced all flights out of that airport have been canceled until further notice due to weather and debris removal. And we're also hearing reports that there's been a few minor injuries from this likely tornado, but it just touched down about an hour ago, so we'll be learning much more on the damage and whether anyone was badly hurt from this. Also in Iowa, rain and hell pounded down as lightning flashed across that area. And take a look again at the large hell in San Angelo, Texas. That's about 200 miles northwest of Austin. And, you know, that's rough for anyone who may have been outside when that storm hit or for anyone with vehicles parked outside. It's just never fun to see the damage that large hell like that does to your car. Also, multiple counties in Mississippi are under a tornado warning right now. These strong storms can end up impacting millions of Americans. Here's Arkansas's governor on America's news headquarters with reaction. Well, we are concerned. In fact, last week, uh, Jonesboro uh, got hit with a uh, tornado that had uh, about four miles of destructive path. And so anytime we're in season, you have to worry about it. Last year, we had a flood as well. Uh, notwithstanding that, uh, our folks are resilient. Uh, they understand adversity, but it's incredible to have to handle the uh, virus and then other potential threats at the same time. Yeah, it could be rough. You know, the fallout from this strong storm system could really offer a double whammy for all those charities and groups already offering help to people in need during this coronavirus crisis, especially when it comes to hunger rescue organizations who may already be low on inventory from helping out the millions of people hit hard financially right now from being laid off during this pandemic. Eric? It is difficult. Christina, thank you.